a billionaire. I've seen a lot of rumors going out, and and you don't have to take that too serious because sometimes people they get confused with numbers. Yeah, I would like to get there one day, definitely. I would like to get there, uh, but still, I have, I have, uh, I still have a long way to go. Martin Braithwaite. Barcelona and Denmark striker is said to have $250 million. At least, that's what Forbes would have said, according to Marca, the source of a source, in early July. However, his contract at Barca is not that big. $4.7 million per season, approximately. And with all the respect I have for these clubs, it's not his salaries at Middlesbrough, Leganes, or Bordeaux that made him so well off. So, Braithwaite doesn't have $250 million in his account. So where does this figure come from? And what does the Euro 2020 semi-finalist's fortune really consist of? I think it's time to talk about money, baby. Money time, episode eight, here we go. When the news about Martin Braithwaite's estimated fortune came out, I'm not gonna lie, I was like you, pretty surprised. In fact, it all started with Marca, which claimed that Martin Braithwaite had entered the famous Forbes list of the highest paid athletes in the world. According to the Spanish newspaper, he is the head of an American real estate investment firm, estimated at $250 million. This investment firm does exist, yes, and we're gonna talk about it, but when this info came out, I looked at the new additions as well as the top 50 names on the Forbes 2021 list, and I couldn't find his name. So I thought, well, maybe he's not a newcomer and maybe he's the 51st. So I dug a little deeper to see if he is on that list. Not only did I not see anything, but Martin Braithwaite also said this. A billionaire, I've seen a lot of rumors going out and, and <laughs> you don't have to take that too serious because sometimes people, they get confused with numbers. It's true that we have our company, but the, the numbers, they are totally wrong. So the, the numbers that people they are seeing, that's, that's not my personal wealth, but it's assets we have under management. Yeah, I would like to get there one day, definitely. I would like to get there. Uh, but still, I have, I have, uh, I still have a long way to go, but I'll get there one day. I'm, I'm confident, I'm sure of it, because we are, we're doing the right things and taking steps in the right direction. So what is this investment firm about? Well, first of all, Braithwaite liked this video because Money Time is a really great show that allows you to understand the business world and football. Secondly, he subscribed. I'm serious, he really did. And thirdly, let's end all the suspense. No, Martin Braithwaite does not have $250 million. Believe the man, he has no reason to lie. It's his company that is valued at such a high price. That's its market value. So we're not talking about $250 million in cash because the value can drop at any time. On the other hand, what is sure and verified is that Braithwaite started in real estate in the United States with his uncle. They founded the NYCE company. Nice. In November 2017, Philip Michael and Braithwaite raised $850,000 and started their American dream. And Forbes wrote on its site that today, the company has $10.2 million in assets and the equivalent of $60 million in projects in development. That's proof that this company works. One of their first projects is named Temple, a student smart home project in Philadelphia, but also a business incubator that allows young minority entrepreneurs to develop their startups, get mentored, and apply for funding. They have two other similar real estate projects, Mercer and Summit, both in New York. These are student housing or incubators that are less expensive than in the rest of the American market. This allows students, businesses, especially black Americans, to find housing or to develop for less money in order to reduce economic inequalities. But not only, NICE is above all a company that uses new technologies that allow everyone to invest in real estate. Braithwaite and his uncle offer an application that allows anyone to invest. For a minimum of $250, you can invest in their company and begin your journey into real estate. We want to teach people about financial freedom and the power that they possess. We have so many things that we want to do and always with the mindset to give back. In Denmark, we have an amazing system protecting the people. Everyone is good. No one needs anything. In America, it's not really the same thing. The goal is to change attitudes and reduce inequality. According to a US census, the wealth gap between whites and blacks in the US will take 228 years to close if more is not done. This is why Braithwaite wants to make it possible for those with little means 
to own something. Millennials, particularly minorities and women, don't really have access to ownership. Most of their net worth sits in cars and jewelry. Braithwaite's uncle has a very ambitious slogan. He says they want to help create 100,000 new millionaires in the coming years from minorities, black Americans, women, etc., etc. If it can reduce wealth inequality, then we wish you well. So this company is booming, but it hasn't made Braithwaite a billionaire either. No way. Once again, it's the valuation and a valuation fluctuates. It evolves, it is never fixed. Martin Braithwaite is obviously financially safe because he's a footballer, which brings him about 4.7 million moolah per season just for Barca, but also because he launched his clothing brand. He also owns two restaurants and soon, surely, his real estate investment company, The Nice Company, will become a huge success. But be careful with the numbers, guys. We already mentioned it in the very first episode with Money Time with Faik Bolkia and Matthew Flamini. I hope you watched them, by the way. They were really good. Remember, in 2018, a rumor was circulating about the former Arsenal player. According to it, Matthew Flamini had become the richest footballer in the world with nearly 30 billion euros of wealth. Billions, I said. Billions. Braithwaite is another example, and he also had to speak out to stop the rumors. The $250 million figure, if true, is not the money he owns or receives, but the money he manages through his company. It is therefore not his own. His investment is making or will make him a lot of money. Sure, one day, we'll see. And if he helps other people, then that's good for him. Anyway, in general, be careful with the information out there. Remember that to err is human, but to lie is less so. Well, that's it guys. The episode dedicated to Martin Braithwaite is over. See you in episode nine. Hey, oh yeah. And if you have a business topic you want to do or discuss, don't hesitate to put it down in the comments. Give it a little like if you enjoyed the video. We'll see you soon. Bye bye friends, long live football, and don't forget to weigh your wallets. For money time, baby. A billionaire, I've seen a lot of rumors going out and, and <laughs> you don't have to take that too serious because sometimes people, they get confused with numbers. It's true that we have our company, but the, the numbers, they are totally wrong. So the, the numbers that people they are seeing, that's, that's not my personal wealth, but it's assets we have under management. Yeah, I would like to get there one day, definitely. I would like to get there. Uh, but still, I, have, I, have, uh, I still have a long way to go, but I'll get there one day. I'm, I'm confident, I'm sure of it because we are, we're doing the right things and taking steps in the right direction.